In Unity, we can add buttons to editor windows so that we can call the functions from our scripts. Doing so gives us the ability to write scripts specifically to improve our workflow, and that is always a good thing. Here we have a script called Object Builder Script. The purpose of this script is to instantiate an object at any given point using the build object method. First, we declare a game object named obj and a vector 3 named spawn point. These will contain the object being built and the location to build it, respectively. After that, we have our method build object, which handles instantiating our object. We also have a custom inspector script written for our object builder script named object builder editor. For more information on writing custom inspector scripts, see the lesson on custom inspectors linked below. The first thing we have inside the onInspectorGUI method is the draw default inspector function. More information on this function can be found in the lesson linked below. Next, we create a button which, when clicked, will call the build object method of the object builder script. To do this, we first create a variable to hold our object builder script reference named myScript. We set our myScript variable equal to a cast of the inherited target variable. Casting allows us to treat the target variable as if it was an object builder script variable. We then create our button by writing the GUI layout class name, followed by a period, and the button function. We pass in a single parameter which contains the text we want displayed on the button. The button function returns a boolean that is true if the button is pressed. Therefore, we wrap the whole line up in an if statement. Then, when the if statement evaluates to true, we simply call the build object method of our myScript variable. In Unity, we have a scene with an empty game object in it. Attached to the game object is our object builder script. Notice in the inspector, in addition to the two fields we declared in the script, we also have a button that says build object. If we click the Build Object button, we can see that an orb is created in the scene. By changing the values of the Spawn Position field, we can keep building objects at various places around the scene. We can see that adding functions to our inspector allows us to add a lot of custom functionality when working in Unity.